guys. It is Monday morning. I got to work nice and early. Actually, that just reminded me. I got to text my friend, tell her I don't need a ride. My sister-in-law offered to bring me a little earlier because I needed to get to work and make copies and just like be prepared for the week. Let me see, I'm all set today for a ride to work. I'm already here. All right, good. So yeah, it is like 7.15. I got here at seven o'clock, which was really nice. I already ran to the copier, got the things I needed. And then I actually stopped at um, Duncan because there was a Duncan on the way here. I asked my sister-in-law if she didn't mind. And I got myself some Duncan. So I'm just checking emails really quickly. And then I plan on eating. I feel prepared for the week somewhat. <clears throat> I feel like Monday is always a little rough and then I get into the swing of things. And, but I am feeling a little bit of anxiety. I was trying to find my anxiety meds this morning. I was debating whether I should take them again, but I couldn't find them. I think Joe might've moved them because you guys know we rearranged our room in February. Look, my hair's nice and straight. I actually had time to straighten it today. But when we rearranged the room, the pills were on my nightstand and now they aren't anymore so i went back to my ashikawanda i don't know if it's gonna do anything because like today i just took it today i feel like those kind of pills you need to have in your system but i've been feeling a little more anxiety than usual lately i have a meeting today at two so that could play into it or it could just be like the monday jitters i feel like I don't know. It's like weird. It's like what you gotta get in the swing of things. Like it's like, oh, I know how to do this. I'm doing fine. But when I start off, I'm just like, what am I doing? I don't know. Anyone else suffer with this? Anyway, so I got my usual bacon, egg, and cheese on an everything bagel. No hash browns this time. <sighs> And a mango refresher, which is actually what you guys are propped on. Oh, that's right. I have to put my lunch in the fridge. We don't want that to go bad. So let me get up and do that. All right. And then I'm going to eat. Alrighty guys, it is Monday. Joe picked me up from work. Um, my brother is getting a car for me. I got picked up from work and I had to go straight to the bank to take out uh, $2,500. It is a cheap, older, used car, but it has an AC. My car's never had an AC. It has a remote start. My car's never had a remote start. Um, it's a Honda. It does have over 100,000 miles, but I only really drive to and from work. So my brother thinks it's gonna last me a few years. So that is what we're doing um, because I just don't have the extra funds right now to do a newer car. Um, even like old, even older used cars, like not old, old, but like, you know, 2010s to 2015s, whatever. Even those are going for big money right now. It's insane. Um, we stopped at the local coffee shop we like. It's actually pretty nice out. I mean, I'm still wearing a beanie and a sweater, of course. It's not like summer out but it's uh, probably 50 i would guess like close to 60. yeah it's actually 50 on the dot and i'm wearing my new sweater from uh, ali makes magic i am obsessed this says lucky and it has a bunch of green bows there's even some of the sleeves i'll link it down below for you guys but you guys will definitely see in the outfits the week when i get home but um since we're out i'm going to we're in the area where crumble cookies is so i'm gonna get some crumble cookies and i'm gonna get there's a chipotle near here so i think i'm just gonna get chipotle for dinner because I still have to go home and cook and I'm starving. I have such an early lunch at work. So, because we have to run errands, we're just gonna pick up food. Alrighty guys, it is Tuesday Taylor. My hair stayed pretty straight, which is nice. So I'm going to have probably this hairstyle for the rest of the week. 
So it was worth me straightening it on Monday. Maybe I'll start doing that because I don't know. I don't want to do too much heat styling. But if I only straighten my hair once and it lasts me like five work days, it's pretty dang good because the the waves have just not been waving lately. Um, but anyway, I wanted to hop on because I never got to show you guys the crumble cookies. So I'm going to flip the camera and show you what this week's crumble cookies are. My split half right now with Joe. We just finished dinner. He made me a HelloFresh, a pea and... Uh, Pea and sausage risotto. It was so good. It was my first time having risotto and I really liked it. Figured I would like it because it's a lot like rice and I love rice. I also got my friend Save the Date in the mail. This is the one that I am being a bridemaid for. So let me show you their beautiful faces. I'm just covering the location of the wedding for my friend's safety and privacy. Let me show you guys. The Save the Date is so cute. Oh, and I'm wearing that top from Soph. I am obsessed. Check out my outfits of the week. That'll go up tomorrow if you guys want more details on this top. This is her save the date. The, the wedding is coming up in September. I just got a call. My dress should be here. I think it said end of June, early July. But she is such like a fall winter person. We're like opposite in so many ways because you guys know I love summer and I love when it's bright out and I love bright colors and she like loves black. She loves the snow. And she she booked her photo shoot in February. And she even said, I really hope it snows. And she looked out because it did. Actually snowed during her photo shoot. She had to cut it short. Uh, but she was dying to send these out. They're super cute. They're a magnet. I know that's very popular right now. So I'm going to put that on my fridge. But I wanted to share with you guys. Don't they look beautiful? I'm so happy for them. And I'm so happy I get to be part of her special day. Oh my God, do I just open this and it smells divine. Okay. So, I usually always get a four-pack. They usually have four to five cookies every week, but one is usually always just their chocolate chip. So, that's the one I usually skip because I feel like I can get that cookie anywhere. The whole point is I want something different. And then the other cookie they had was like an oatmeal raisin. Again, I can get that anywhere, although I have heard good things about their chocolate chip and their oatmeal raisin. The other four were these four. So, this is supposed to be a raspberry Danish and I love raspberries, raspberry chocolate, raspberry margaritas, like they are my go-to, they are my favorite. So it has like that cream layer and then that raspberry jam in the center. This is a brookie, which is a brownie and cookie. I absolutely love brookies. I literally love the one from Domino's. So I can only imagine Crumble made it even better. Um, This one is confetti cake. So it's a confetti cookie, which I love. And then it has that pink frosting with some confetti sprinkles. This screams Easter to me, which that is coming up. And then the last one is a Dolce de Leche. Guys, this cookie is so soft. It like feels like it's about to like crumble in my hand. And it has that like caramelly layer. Oh my God, this looks so good. All right, which one do you want to split, babe? Of the four. You want to do the brookie? Well, I should have guessed. I had a feeling. So cut it down the middle where we both get brownie and cookie. You know what I'm trying to say? Because then if not, one person gets a cookie, one person gets a brownie. It's literally <laughs> split down the middle. So Joe's going to cut that in half for us. And then we will do a taste test for you guys. Um, the floor pack lasts me a while because I literally only have like a half of a cookie Maybe like every other day. Probably not the healthiest thing, but it definitely could be worse. Um, and I don't, I haven't gotten it in like, I don't know, maybe a month. It's been a little bit. I only really do when it's like cookies that really interest me. And I love brookies. I love Dolce de Leche. I love confetti and I love raspberry. When I saw the raspberry, I knew I had to have it. All right, split it down the middle so we can try it. One of the sprinkles from the confetti cookie was on my hand. But... Have you ever had the one from Domino's? No. No? So I wouldn't even know, really. It's delicious. If you like brownies and you like cookies, you're going to like a brookie. Oh. <laughs> so, I guess half, I don't know. A brownie side. Mm. And guys, there's chocolate chips in the brownie. Mm, so good. So the cookie side. And then I'll do a bite in the middle. Do you like it? It's good, but it feels like diabetes in one bite. Oh my god. 
sometimes I suppose that's in full, honestly. I wouldn't do it with this one because then you're not getting the full effect. But some of those cookies are literally split in full. Oh my god. The combo. So, so good. Alright. I'm going to go film an outfit clip for the outfits of the week. Shower. And then lay in bed. But I feel like this week is feeling long. Like, I don't know why. Part of me kept thinking today was Wednesday. And it's not. It's Tuesday. I think I'm just... I know next week's a four-day week, so I'm looking forward to that. And then I only work, like, two weeks, and then it's vacation again. Thank God. Um, I don't think I could ever go back to a job with, like, regular vacations. Because I count down the days for those vacations. I really do. And like one of the teachers told me once, like, yeah, a lot of people are like, oh, you only work 180 days out of the year. But we do a lot in those 180 days. And it is very, very true. Our job has a lot of, lot of components. I literally have meeting after meeting. Something is due, like, every other day. Like, I literally input grades daily. Like, I have to make a lesson plan every single day. It's a lot. But, and I literally took a nap today. I could not keep my eyes open. I napped while Joe was cooking. I think I'll be able to sleep tonight, though. Maybe not as early. Like, I normally try to go to bed for 9. It might be, like, 10 or 11. But I don't think I'll be up half the night. Because I still feel tired. <laughs> All right. I'll finish this. I'm jump in the shower. Next time you guys see me, probably Wednesday. I'll let you know how my college class went. Alrighty, guys. I just got off my college class. We don't have a reading for next week, so that is good. She actually is giving us a checklist and um it's kind of like the testing they would do for somebody who has adhd so i have to go through the checklist and i they said you can either do it like mentally in your head pick a random student in your room and how do you think he would answer the questions or you can do it on a legit person they were like you can do it on a parent on your own child on a a loved one a sibling and it was funny because in class today we talked about adhd autism and um what was the other one social emotional disorders and I mentioned how Joe has ADHD and I read the chapter on ADHD and there was a lot of times where I thought about him, especially the part when it talked about how it's hereditary. And I thought about how if we have kids one day, that is something I have to look out for because it's possible my child might have ADHD because of Joe's diagnosis. And she was like, oh, well, that's funny because we're actually going to do some ADHD testing. So she said, if you want to do it on your boyfriend, you can. So I have to print out the form tomorrow at work and I'm going to do the ADHD testing on Joe. Maybe I'll film it for you guys to see. It's nothing like crazy. You just ask questions and then there's like a scale and it's like very likely, not likely, something like that. I won't know the score till my next class though. So she said she doesn't want us to do the grading on it. She said she wants us to do it together as a group. But I'm curious to see the results because Joe was diagnosed when he was, what, nine? And he's 30 now. So it has been quite some time. He talked about, he got off his meds. How long have you been off your meds? It's since we moved in together. So like three, four years? Maybe five. Oh, whatever. And then he talked to his doctor about maybe trying new meds. But the doctor was saying he would have to redo some testing. So then Joe was just like, you know what? I'm not taking them anymore. It was just I mean, fine. That's his prerogative. It's, it's his body. His choice. Yeah. Um, so I'm kind of curious to see the results of the test. And I will fill you guys in on that the following week. Um, but Joe made Hello Fresh. So I have my dinner here in front of me. He's been really good at making it while I'm in class. It looks horrible. No, it looks good. He did it last week because <laughs> I he worked late. But this week he got out early. So it is a crunchy... Um, be a sheet pan crunchy chicken. Yeah, and it has like a ranch sauce on top. And then you get potato wedges. And we got some roasted broccoli. So I'm going to eat some dinner. It is 6.30. And then I have, I'm have i going to film this outfit clip, shower, and then hopefully relax. Me and Joe have some TV shows to catch up on because I have to watch Good Doctor, Tracker, all those things. They took, But then my mom was saying some of them took two weeks off. So I got to look into that. But I just wanted to fill you guys in after the class. Um, so I, my load's a little lighter this week, which is nice. But I've been observing classes because part of this class, I have to do 12 hours of observation. I already did two of them. So I did one today and I did one yesterday. And I've been t like writing notes while I'm observing. 
because that has to go into a log. So I'm going to try to do that soon. That's not due till like April, but I instead of doing all 12 hours at once, I rather do it like two, three hours at a time. Um, so that way it's like less on my plate. You know, few, I, I'm trying to think more about future Taylor. This Taylor is, a, you know, me Taylor in the present is always like, you deserve rest, treat yourself. But then the, <laughs> but then I'm screwing over future Taylor. So I'm trying to think more about future Taylor and balancing things out a little bit more. You, you know, a little good on Mango. Mango is literally right here, guys. I keep waiting to see if he knocks over the camera. He's That's like right, cheeky. he's like right behind you guys. Whenever we eat, he crawls right up onto this coffee table because he wants to get fed. He smells the chicken, so he knows what's yeah. up. He, he loves chicken. But anyway, I just wanted to fill you in on my class. I'm really curious to do that testing on Joe, so I just got to print the form tomorrow. And my insurance company was closed today because I was going to try to call them. I'm not sure if I have to make an appointment or if I could just walk in. Trying to figure out the things I need to do for my car. I believe my brother has it. I need to call him. He texted me and said something... Let me see. What did he say, actually? I think he said, I he put, you're going to go pick up your car. But I don't know if it's at his house or if it's at the friend's house I, he bought it from. So I got to call him. But I will fill you guys in. Alrighty, guys. I just got my lunch delivered. I ordered from the restaurant at the school. Um, I'm trying to eat a little bit healthier. So I got a Cobb salad. Really excited about it because I don't like boring salads. But this one has chunks of blue cheese corn eggs it was supposed to be chicken and there's no chicken all right so i have to call them because it was a chicken cob salad but doesn't it look beautiful and then it came with a soup they're doing like a combo meal you guys are actually resting on the soup but i'm gonna call them before i forget it's students i gotta remember that because they also i already called they forgot my lemonade so let me call them again Alrighty, so I just called. They're going to check, see what's going on. I'll wait for the salad then because I'd rather have my chicken with it. Good thing is it's not like a hot meal, so I don't have to worry too much. But I'm going to eat my soup while I have it. So they had an option between potato and leek soup or kale soup. Um, kale soup is very popular around here. It is like a very well-known Portuguese soup. Um, but I've been eating it my whole life. <laughs> Literally, it was like my grandmother's specialty. My mom makes it a lot. So I want something different. I've never had potato and meat. So I figured I would try it. Today is Incredible Kid Day at my school. So they um, gave us these shirts to wear. So it's a very casual, relaxing day. And it's Thursday, which always puts me in a good mood because I only have one work day left. And then next week, it's there's a break. Uh, a break. There's a three-day weekend, so it's even better. So I'm not sure what to expect. I don't know if it's going to have chunks of soup or if it's going to be like a pureed kind of soup. I've never had leek either. All right, so it is a pureed kind of soup. So this is it right here. And they gave me some oyster crackers. Oh, maybe that's my lemonade. All right, so I just got my lemonade. It was 15 bucks for the combo, which I thought wasn't bad at all. I mean, you get a nice big hearty salad with chicken and bacon when I get my chicken and eggs and then you get the soup and you get a lemonade but I wanted to try the soup on camera with you I love oyster crackers so let me add that I love a little crunch when I eat a little texture certain things I eat I, I need it like if I have a sandwich I have to have chips you know what I mean like I could have a healthy alternative chip but I need a chip you know I need that crunch so let's try this potato and leek. That's good. Hopefully my chicken is delivered before I'm done. But yeah, I'm eating lunch. Let me know what you guys are having for lunch today. Alrighty guys, so as soon as I finished the soup, there was a knock on my door and it was a student with my chicken. They put it in a little container for me. Um, and he had this bag that said, sorry. So I figured I'm like, oh, it must be like a free little dessert. Because they do do um, desserts over there a lot. Cookies and brownies. And they even do whole pies when you buy it by the slice. I think the last time you guys saw me eat from the school um, restaurant, it was a peanut butter jelly pie. It was so good. Um, and it is. It's a snickerdoodle cookie. I'm actually not a huge snickerdoodle fan. There it is right there. I And they only sell them for like a buck. So pretty good. But I'm not a big fan. Oh, that smells good. I'm just not a huge cinnamon person. Like, I'd much rather have, like, a chocolate, peanut butter, caramel, raspberry dessert. 
over cinnamon. Like cinnamon rolls is like, I like them, but they're like my last option. Um, and just anything with like, even churros. And I know people love churros. And anything cinnamon is like, I'll eat it, but it's not my favorite. So I'm actually going to gift this to Joe because we have the crumble cookie still. So Joe's in the process of making dinner right now. And when dinner's done, I'm going to get into another half of a crumble cookie. We didn't do crumble yesterday. I try to do it like every other day, you know, not the healthiest. Um, after work, I went straight to my brother's house. We got the car. We He drove it here for me. Um, and then his girlfriend followed so his girlfriend could drive him back because it's not like registered yet or anything, which I don't know if I should be even admitting this on camera. It has plates. It still has the plates from the other owner. Cause like I said, it's my brother's friend. So my brother even said, oh, I need those plates when you uh, transfer your plates. But anyway, so I guess it is technically registered. It's not under me. So my brother's like, oh, I'm just going to drive carefully to your house and put it in your driveway. He was going to put it in his garage because his garage is right next to the friend's house. Uh, but unfortunately, it did not fit. And I do have a driveway, so it worked out. I was going to go to the insurance today because in Massachusetts, you have to prove your car is insured before you can go to the DMV. Um, I don't know why it's not like that in all states. Uh, but I we learned that recently. Other states, you can literally drive uninsured. Like, you're not supposed to. But it's like you actually have that option. And here in Massachusetts, if your car is registered, it's insured. Like you can't. Anyway, I don't know. All that lingo. Um, so I was going to go today. It was 4.30 and it's like right next to my house. I said, oh, it probably closes at 5. Good thing I Googled it before I jumped into Joe's car because it closed at 4.30. It was literally 4.29 when I looked. So unfortunately, I have to go tomorrow and after work. But what sucks is Joe's going to have a late day tomorrow. He's going to be in New Jersey. My mom can't take me because she's going to be at a doctor's appointment. So I have to bother my sister-in-law. Uh, but I really want to get the insurance done tomorrow so I can go to the DMV on Saturday. Uh, that way I don't have to miss work to go to the DMV. Because I don't want to wait till next Saturday. I'm not going to bother people for rides for a week straight again. So hopefully it gets done Saturday. If not, I'll have to take a half day at work. It is what it is. My boss knows I have no car right now. He knows I've been getting rides. Um, he's been seeing me walk out. And he's like, still no car? And I'm like, nope, still no car. Um, Joe is making a Hello Fresh meal. Are you doing the Gouda stuff, meatloafs? Yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing. We've had that one before, and I do enjoy it. Um, what's the sides? Uh, carrots and potatoes. Cut up into like half wedges or whatever. <sighs> carrots and potatoes sounds good to me. Um, I'm gonna prep some work materials right now. These, as you can see, they are shiny. They are laminated. We are working on the grocery store right now in my life skills class and for them to understand like what the different sections of the grocery store are. Um, so they're laminated, but these have to be cut. So I have my slicer here and then they got to be Velcroed. I have rolls of Velcro. This is all the stuff that I pay for out of pocket, like the Velcro, the slicer, the lamination. And then they are going to be Velcroed onto here and the kids are going to have to like see what's a condiment what's bread what's sliced bread what's a versus bagels versus wheat bread versus dinner rolls the different condiments ketchup mustard all that stuff so this is what i'm working on until my dinner is delivered to me so happy i got hello fresh because it allows joe to cook and gives me a break i am cooking all day at work tomorrow so that is the one thing like since this job i definitely have been cooking less because i just i cook at work so i don't have the energy to cook when i get home you know so, good thing for HelloFresh and Joe being able to cook for us. But, yeah, I'll be doing this, watching some YouTube. Um, maybe I'll get back on and show you guys my dinner when it's done. All right, guys. This is dinner. Joe just delivered my plate. So, it is the Gouda stuffed pork meatloafs, as I said. And we had a little bit of leftover broccoli from yesterday. So, Joe threw it on the plate. We got some sliced up carrots, some sliced up potatoes i feel like it's usually more presentable but joe is not feeling today and this is the meatloaf and it's like a ketchup layer on top but i'm wondering because it actually says there's apricot jam let me look at the instructions i hadn't looked at it. i was still working on the grocery store things while joe was doing this um where does the apricot jam go that's what i want to know <sighs> Is it part of the glaze? I keep seeing reserved glaze, transfer half the glaze. Let me see. Prepare and mix glaze right here. 
in a bowl combine ketchup jam and sriracha oh so it's gonna be like a sweet and spicy okay i'm curious to try that out i said we've had this one before we've definitely had meatloafs before because i've i've and i had a stuffed one but now i'm wondering if it wasn't gouda stuff maybe it was cheddar stuffed because i do not remember an apricot jam so let's try it um joe is like not in the greatest mood if you guys watch well it wouldn't have been up yet but tomorrow is my outfit of the week i should be to take my medication and i talked about how awful the weather was in my outfits of the week um here it on the east side of the u.s temperatures dropped we had like a week where it was beautiful it was almost like a tease of spring and temps dropped today they were like below 30 in the 20s and it's so so windy we got home and my furniture on my porch was not where it was supposed to be uh and we had to fix it it was like blown all over the place oh wow this cheese is spreading everywhere as i'm cutting the meatloaf um and because joe is a driver he could feel the wind on his truck um like pushing on the truck and then he delivers things so when he gets to the locations he obviously gets out of the truck and delivers the items and he said it was so windy that they almost dropped one of the things they were carrying um and almost would have had um i mean their job he's broken some things before obviously it's the accidents happened his job's been pretty pretty good with him and flexible but obviously you don't want that that costs the company you know a lot of extra money so anyway, we got the Gouda stuff meatball. We got a potato. Well, let's try it. I'm just going to blow a little because he literally just gave it to me. Mmm, that is good. Really good. And it's, I like to, with this, as it tells me the calories. I'm not like calorie counting. But I am trying to eat better. You guys saw for lunch, I got like a Cobb salad. And it was delicious. I love salad. I really do. And I never eat it. You know why? It's just, it's so hard to prepare. It's so much easier to buy something pre-made. It's way more convenient. Unhealthy food is so much easier. And it's so unfortunate. Um, but a salad can be a lot of work. Washing all that produce, drying the produce mixing it all up especially because i don't like plain salads like i'm not gonna just do lettuce like i want more oof in my salad i don't know what i'm looking for but that cup salad was delicious i'm even thinking about maybe ordering it again tomorrow we shall see depends uh i try not to get too much food from the restaurant but right now they're doing specials they're doing like combos where it's like 15 bucks and you get the soup and you get the drink and i think they're only doing it because in my city they do something called restaurant week because we're well known for be having like a very good restaurants in my area um especially like eclectic restaurants like we have like indian restaurants portuguese restaurants um barbecue um I'm trying to think like mexican spanish latin like we have a lot of different ethnic foods here lebanese um so they're, they're doing like a tour i think they're trying to get just more people to like visit this area and spend their money they're actually in the process of building a train where i am and uh they're making it really beautiful and really touristy which is up in rents and a lot of other things because people that were in boston are now coming here because they're like oh well i can take the train to work soon so we have a lot of influx of people like moving here recently but anyway because they're doing restaurant week my school's restaurant wanted to partake in it and that's why they're doing the 15 dollars combo meal because normally the meals are like 10 bucks but then you buy the drink you buy the soup you buy like whatever on the side you know it comes out more expensive so when i do it i don't even get the drink 99 percent of the time because the their fancy lemonades are like five bucks I'm like, for 10 bucks, I'm getting a whole plate of food. You know what I mean? So to pay 15 and I'm getting the soup and the drink, I'm kind of taking advantage. So I'm definitely going to, I think I'm definitely going to order tomorrow. I don't know if it'll be the cop salad. Depends on the specials. And then I think it's going until next. I think it started today and it goes until next Thursday. I think it's Thursday to Thursday. I'm not 100% sure. Um, if I get it again, you guys will see. Tagging you along for the ride. But, you know, I figured I'd take advantage of the special while I, while I can, you know? guys i'm gonna make it brief it is 7 20 um 
I got to work a little bit earlier. I actually have some footage. Unfortunately, it's it's the other way because I was filming it for Snapchat and not for YouTube. I just got so excited and wanted to share with my friends. But I was in Joe's work van. Um, he was like, oh, I'm still at the factory. And the factory is only one city away, not far at all. And he was like, you're ready? I said, yeah, I am ready. It's unfortunate my friend's not getting me. And I'm not complaining. I'm thankful for the ride. But she wasn't going to pick me up till like 720. And he was like, I'll get you so you can get to work a little bit earlier. So I was like, okay. And it really makes a difference too because when he drops me off, he drops me right at the door. The parking lot to the school is a huge walk that takes up a lot of time. And then it's like... Uh, then I still got to get in the building, go to security, walk all the way to the classroom. So it's like, even when I park sometimes at 720, I'm not in my room till 730. So it's nice being in my room and it's seven, it's actually 719 right now. So I'm literally gonna eat my bagel quick. And then there is something quick I want to do on the laptop just so I feel a little more prepared today. But since he got me on the work van, I was like, oh, let's go to um, Duncan right near the school. Um, but we couldn't go through the drive-thru because his van is too tall. It literally has a big sign that says, do not go through drive-thru, like right on the dashboard. <laughs> so I had to get out of the car and go inside. And that was a mission because the car is so high up. I was having a hard time getting in and out of the car. But I got my usual bacon, egg, and cheese on a bagel. Um, I did treat myself to a donut. And then I have a refresher you guys are leaning on. I know you're getting a weird ray of light. The windows are right here behind me. I'm actually like facing like the outside of the school so i get a lot of sunlight which is really nice sometimes i don't even turn on my classroom lights um if you're on the other side you're facing like the courtyard so you don't get as much light and i get, I get to see all the action like the buses and the cars and the people but anyway i can eat quickly so i can hop on the computer and feel a little more prepared today i just finished my bagel i'm gonna save the donut for a little while for after i just got an email i'm really excited about I'm checking my emails that because I'm a teacher, I can get Headspace for free, which is a meditation app. It says all I have to do is sign up, download the app, and sign up using my school email. And then they'll send an email just to verify that I'm an educator. So that is really exciting because they were saying that they know our job is really stressful. And with meditation, it's supposed to decrease your stress, your frustration. Gives you, it even says, gives you a new insight on the rest of the day coming. The app has helped me tremendously, and I hope it helps you too. That, that is cool. I am definitely going to do that. So, yeah. if I don't know. I'm sure it works for all teachers. So, if you're a teacher in a different state or you know a teacher, try it out. It says that the app is a big orange circle. So, yeah, download the app. Yes, it's a big orange circle. I'm going to look it up. Guys. I just finished my lunch and it was so good and I got the idea from a student so my period three um they are like very very um what's the word I'm looking for oh my god not intentional not an individual it's not with an eye it's uh oh my god like they can do things on their own they're very oh my god you guys are screaming the word at me independent I got it go me they're very independent, so because obviously I'm a life skills class, we do a lot of cooking. So we did something, um, I do something with them every day, not my other classes, but this class in particular, because they are so independent, I always leave like 25 minutes to end of the period where they can make a snack. So they make, usually, it has to be like quicker things. So usually it's a cheese quesadilla, a hot dog, or a English muffin pizza. And one of the students was like, oh, I really want a cheese quesadilla. And I said, okay. And then she started pulling out the pepperoni. So I said, oh, cheese quesadilla or an English muffin pizza? And she was like, no, I want a cheese quesadilla, but I want to put pepperoni in it. And I was like, that's smart, girlfriend. I, I like that idea. And that's what she did. And then it, psh, light bulb, I was like, oh, my God, that would be delicious with some pizza sauce in it and make like a homemade Hot Pocket. Guess what I had for lunch, guys? A homemade Hot Pocket. I was originally, oh, someone's coming, hold on. Guys, I apologize. So, uh, one of the nurses walked into my room and then my class started coming in so I couldn't get back on camera. But I was going to say I was actually going to get food from the restaurant at the school. I mentioned that yesterday because they've been doing these cool combo deals for 15 bucks. But it was only fish today because where I live is like a very big Catholic community and um from was ash wednesday to easter 
you're not supposed to eat meat on Fridays. I don't personally follow that rule. Clearly, I had pepperoni in my lunch. Um, I just don't eat meat on Ash Wednesday and Good Friday. Like, those two days, I, like, I'll, I'll do it those two days. But the rest of the Fridays in between, I don't care. I, I feel like God loves me no matter what. As long as you're a good person, to me, that's what matters. Um, I will say this Ash Wednesday, though, I was bad and ate meat because it landed on Valentine's Day. But uh, I'll never forget, my mom told me a story once where she went to a wedding, and the wedding was on Good Friday, and they had invited the priest to the reception because they got married at a church, and the priest stood up, and he did the cross, and he said, this food is blessed, we can eat it now. So it's like, even if a priest is willing to eat meat on Friday, it's clearly not that big of a, of a deal to me personally. You guys can feel however you feel about it. So they only, they call it Fish Friday. They do like clam chowder, fried fish. Um, different things and I am not a fan of fish and that's probably why I don't do the no meat Fridays because it's really hard for me because I'm not a big seafood fan um granted I could have just made a cheese quesadilla without the pepperoni um you know there are some like I'll eat a cheese when I did do it there was a few years where I really didn't eat on Fridays it was a lot of cheese pizza and grilled cheese and tuna sandwiches but I get sick of it so I haven't partaked already in a few years but um anyway so that's why I didn't end up ordering from the school restaurant. So I had to think of something last minute. And my lunch was quite delicious. And I'm actually going to do that as a lesson with the kids, I think. It'll be like homemade Hot Pockets, my cat. Um, so I got a drop. I got dropped off from my friend who has been bringing me to and from work. And then my sister-in-law picked me up so I could go get the car insured. So the car is officially insured, which is good. I'm upset, though, because my plan was to go to the DMV tomorrow. I literally Googled it, and it said that the hours are 9 to 4. So I said, oh, good, I don't have to waste work time to get this done. Well, the insurance agent thought it was very strange. And she's like, are you sure they're open on Saturdays? And I said, I Googled it, and it said they were open 9 to 4. She was like, you might want to call them, because I don't think that's accurate. So... I called, no real person answered. It was like a recorded message. And it said that certain locations are open on Saturday, but only by appointment. So, and the appointments are only for permits, driver license tests. And I think there was one other thing on the list, not for registering a car. So I do have to miss work and I have to do it Monday morning. So I could have done the insurance Monday morning and I didn't have to inconvenience my sister-in-law after all. Um, so that sucks, but whatever, I guess that pot's done. Um, I'm going to have to put in for, I'm hoping half a sick day. I don't want to waste a full friggin' sick day. Um, I'm going to have to, I'm going to text my boss be like, Hey, I'm going to put in a half day, but if I'm still at the DMV, I'm going to have to put a full day. It just sucks because I left no materials. I've never not been prepared. Um, other than when my grandmother passed away. Um, and that was like a whole week. But, like, the, uh, I called out on a Friday and Monday because I was really sick. And I knew I was going to call out by Thursday afternoon because I literally felt like S-H-I-T. And I even warned my boss. I said, hey, I won't be here tomorrow. So I left the material for the paras. And then I had a scheduled day off, like a personal day, and I left material. I've never not left material. So I feel bad because I didn't leave material. But um, I might be there for half the day, so it would only affect like my first two three periods we'll see how we'll see how it is uh you guys will actually you guys won't be along for the ride if that happens on monday that'll actually be next week's vlog for you guys because my vlogs go um sunday to saturday so um you'll have to check out next week to see um if i can get it all done on monday this is th this is one of the main reasons why i put off getting a car and every time everybody's like just get rid of this car already just get rid of this car already and it's this i hate all the adult things like to me it's so stupid like they're open such shitty freaking hours for pe professional working people like i don't have weekdays off most people don't like unless you work and i worked at a grocery store so i know when i worked at the grocery store i did have weekdays off if you work at like a store or things like that yeah you have weekdays off but most jobs are nine to five monday through friday and that's like the exact hours of the dmv well that's the only thing i could go quick after work but then i know i will be there forever and ever and i don't want to do that and even i probably want to i get my school closes at three but there's always a shit ton of traffic and I never really get out till 3.30, like get out of all the, get home. And 
So by the time I get to the DMV, it'd probably be almost four, and they close at five. So I don't know what they do. They turn people away. I have no idea. Oh, Joe's calling me. Alrighty. Me, Joe, and I guess Mango too, since he's here. We just finished watching Players. Let me scroll. I'm trying to zoom in. Why isn't it letting me zoom in? Okay, I'm a shitty camera person. <laughs> I wanted to zoom in. I was going to read the description. Oh, there it is. In this irreverent, if I'm saying that right, romantic comedy, a sports writer devises a plan to turn a hookup into a relationship. It was really, really good. Um, I can't think of her name right now. The one from Jane the Virgin. I love her. And then even the girl on the side of her. She's a comedian. I think she started as a YouTuber, if I remember correctly. Um, but yeah, me and Joe just watched it. He's not super into, like, romances, but he really liked this one. Right, Joe? Yeah. Alrighty, what are we doing? This this has been our Friday night. What are we doing next? I don't know. Maybe order some jumbo boneless wings or something? Y'all hungry? I'm full, guy. <laughs> I'm playing. I thought they did something good right now. Joe picked me up Sonic on the way home from work, so I am... I am still stuffed. I had Domino's as I was up in New Hampshire. Mm-hmm. At least it wasn't a long day, though. That's good. Wanna do Monk, I guess? Sure. Me and Joe have been... Re well, I don't know if it's a rewatch for him. It's a rewatch for me. But we've been watching Monk together. So I guess I'll watch a few episodes of that. Still early. It's only like 9 o'clock. Alrighty, guys. It is Saturday. I literally woke up at like 11 o'clock. Woke up with a headache, too. It is super rainy here on Mass. I'm sure you can see the rain in the window of Joe's car. But me and Joe did want to get out of the house. We did nothing yesterday. I'm trying to think if I filmed it. I don't remember. Yes, I believe I did. Yeah. We watched Players on Netflix, and I filmed a clip of that. And then we ended up watching, what, three episodes of Monk? Something and we went to bed around midnight. So I got, like, almost, like, 11 hours of sleep. But my headache is still here. Um... We went to an art pop-up. I should have filmed it. I'm a shitty YouTuber. But to be honest, I was kind of in and out. Um, it was like kind of like dead in there. I feel bad. I think they picked a really bad day because of the rain. So I don't like when things are super busy because it's a lot of people. But I also don't like when things are dead because I feel like they're just staring at the two people in the store praying they buy something, if that makes sense. I did end up getting something, though. And I didn't feel obligated. If there was nothing I wanted, I was going to leave. But I got this specifically for a friend. I don't think she watches my YouTube channel, so I'll share it. Um, her name is Leah, and she's a photographer. She takes a lot of pictures of me and Joe, and they always come out so beautiful. Um, I, I love her artwork. She does a lot of nature photography. Um, I will link her Facebook page down below. But I found this at that art pop-up, and she is going to love this. It made me think of her immediately. They had a smaller one. And they had this bigger one. I got her the bigger one. Um, I'm, her birthday's not till May, so I'm gonna hold on to this for a little bit. It's already almost April, so. Um, and I'm gonna, and it is a pop up, so I don't think it's gonna be there. Like, that's the point of a pop up, right? There was no, like, official sign on the building. I think it's like an empty. What that used to be, you said? What was it? What used to be that art pop up? Um, Bank of America. Oh, it used to be at the Bank of America. They just had, like, a plastic sign that said art pop up. So I said, let me get this now because I don't think it'll be here. And I, I, it, they even put it in this cute little bag. So I think I'm just going to get her a little frame. It's an 8 by 10 so it should be easy to find. And put it in there. They had a lot of cute homemade goods. Um, me and Joe ordered um, takeout from a chicken place we've never tried before. It's right across the street from the art pop-up. But it's going to take a half hour. So we just looked at each other and we said, what can we do? So guess where we are? We're at that coffee shop again that you guys saw the last two weeks on the vlog. So we're going to get a coffee and we're just going to like sit for like 20 minutes. And then go back, pick up our chicken, and then we'll go home. Yeah. I guess so we can eat it hot and fresh. I do want to go to Soph. I'm doing, should I run into Soph quick or should I? Or maybe I can save Soph for tomorrow. I guess we could do it today. Yeah, I want to run into Sophia's store because she has a cardigan. I just don't want it to sell out again that she restocked yesterday that I want to pick up. And I was going to get it yesterday, but like I said, I don't know. I got home yesterday and I just wanted to be home. But today I wanted to be out despite the rain. But we're not going to be out all day for sure. It is... Not that pretty of a day, and this headache is not going away. Maybe some coffee will help, or some food, I don't know. But yeah, we're gonna go in now and get our cafes, coffee, in Portuguese, my friend. Hey guys, so we didn't end up, oh, hold on. 
Okay. My phone was like falling on my hand to fix myself. We didn't end up sitting inside. I thought with the rain that there would be like plenty of seats open. Not the case. It was actually like super full in there. They are doing very good business. So I got a new coffee. I've done their mocha latte, their caramel latte, their spritzers, and what was the other one I got? I don't know. There is like a banana nut bread one, a banana nut muffin one that I want to try. But this is just their regular go-to coffee. It is what they're known for. It is like a cold brew that they make every single day that's like in a, it's in a batch. So it's made with whole milk because Joe tried asking for almond milk, but because it's made in batches, it's not, you can't like substitute it. So I'm probably going to have a stomach ache, but that's okay. Figure out try a sip on camera. I love the cups they use too. I love that. Um, it's asked me if I want to join a hot spot. I love that it's um, like a sippy cup almost. That sounds weird to say, but it's like not a straw. You can just pull back the tab. Mm, that's quite good, dog. You tried it yet? No, it's good. Um, so we're heading back to the chicken place to get our food. I will definitely show you guys our plates. We did six uh, tenders each. So we got two different sauces, so we're gonna split. So we got the garlic fever and the buffalo with them dipping sauces. We got plain fries, and then I got, I had a buffalo ranch potato salad. It was only like 350, so I'm gonna guess it's gonna be a small cup, but that sounded so good to me. I love potato salad and I love bacon ranch, so I definitely wanna try that. You guys will see it once we pick it up. So we just got home, we opened up the containers. They're naked which is not what I expected. They actually give you the sauces on the side. So you can see garlic. they look very similar because mm -hmm. they are both like orange base. But this is the garlic, this is the buffalo, and then we did ask for ranch and blue cheese. So we have that as well. This is my potato salad. I've been trying to kick off mango. He's not a good listener. Um, it's life when you have cats. So it is a very small serving, which I expected for $3, honestly. But... That is it. Definitely curious to try it. I will let you guys know how it is. Uh, but yeah, I guess we're going to dig in. Let's see how we feel about it. Just dipped one piece in the garlic. Look at that. There's big chunks of garlic in there. Give it a little bit of ranch. It was quite good. Quite good. I'm going to try the buffalo next. See how I like that. All right. I figured I would do it on camera. So I have one little bite here. I just dropped a little bit of chicken. I'm not sure how spicy this buffalo is going to be. I'll do a little bit of ranch. Mm. There's a little bit of a kick and I just, I don't know, I guess my throat wasn't expecting it. I don't know. Bye. But that's good. You can tell the fries are like natural cut fries from potatoes. Mm. They're really good too. I could see why this new spot is popular, but and it's literally takeout only. There is an, It's very small. And there's no tables in there. But it's actually right near Joe's work. So, <clears throat> once in a blue moon, we can pick it up. But, pretty good. Guys, so I had a bite of the potato salad. Literally only, like, two bites. You can see, like, literally right there. I will finish it. It's not that I dislike it. It's just not what I was expecting. And I don't know why, because it, obviously it's ranch based, because it's ranch, what did I say, chicken, bait, not, there's no chicken. I was going to say chicken, bacon, ranch. It's bacon, ranch, potato salad. So and there is chunks of bacon in this, and they, they put a little paprika on top, and there's actually shredded cheese in this, which I wasn't expecting that, but I guess some dishes with bacon and ranch have shredded cheese so that makes sense there's little green onions just to me i love mayo and i know most some people hate mayo i love mayo mayo on a sandwich is a must for me like whenever i do subway or my own chicken sandwiches at home not chicken like deli meat sandwiches um that's what makes the sandwich for me like it gives it a, such a rich flavor makes it nice and moist i hate just dry bed and deli meats no thank you um i cannot have a sandwich without mayo i love egg salad i love tuna salad and joe is the opposite joe hates mayo he does not eat tuna salad or chicken salad or egg salad, any of those things 
Um, I think my potato salad has to have mayo for me. That richness from the mayo. This doesn't have mayo because it's ranch based. And I like ranch, but guess not as much as I like mayo. Because I, I was expecting like a traditional potato salad flavor, maybe with just like ranch mixed in. I thought they might still use mayo, but no. I guess that makes sense because ranch is already high in fat and mayo is high in fat. So they just use the ranch in place of the mayo. So it's not bad by any means. If you like ranch, you'll love it. And I do like ranch, but I love mayo. I think it's, I just haven't had potato salad in a long time. That's definitely like a summer thing. Um, like at barbecues and stuff like that. I miss my mom's potato salad. My mom's potato salad is one of my favorites. Joe's mom makes a good potato salad too. But my mom doesn't make potato salad anymore since she has been keto. I think she made it once this summer because I begged her. Um, so once a lot of times when Joe's mom makes it, I go for it because I miss potato salad and this did not hit the potato salad spot for me. Um, but April is around the corner. Barbecues are around the corner. So I will have my traditional potato salad soon. I should probably just make my own in small batches or something. I've been, I, um, I actually was thinking about making some egg salad to have for lunches this week. Cause I had been, I've just been like in an egg salad like mood lately i'm like mm, egg salad sounds really good i think i just want some mayo in my life i don't know um but yeah so that is what i thought about this i will finish it i'm not gonna let it go to waste i'm actually quite full and i only had two tenders and they weren't super big there's still four in that container so i could have just ordered the four piece but i didn't think the four piece would fill me it's weird some days i i can eat a lot other days i can eat a little i do the headache finally went away i gave in i took two ibuprofen i do not like taking taking medication so if i take medication it's because i really really am in pain i woke up with that headache at 11 o'clock and i didn't take medication until about 45 minutes ago around three so i lived with that headache from 11 to three i just kept hoping it was going to go away and at one point it like was less and came back but it never fully went away and it finally fully went away with the ibuprofen um so me and joe are gonna go back out which i never do usually once i'm in the house i'm lazy and i'm in the house but I really want to go to that plus size boutique because she has an item restocked and I just don't want it to sell out again. So as long as I get there and there's not a crazy amount of people, I will get some footage. I'm wearing a new sweatshirt. I got this from Ali Makes Magic. I have shared this small business with you guys before. I love her stuff. She does a lot of um, pop culture stuff. She has a huge Taylor Swift section. I'm not even a Swifty, but if you like Swift, definitely check it out. Um, I, the, a lot of the stuff I have from her is Gilmore Girls based. Um, and the, uh, that lucky sweatshirt I wore, I think you guys are going to see at the beginning of this vlog, because I want to say last week, but I think it was on Sunday, which is the beginning of the vlog this week, was from her. Uh, she has a lot of cute stuff. This one is Forks, Washington. If you are a Twilight fan, you know this is where Twilight is based out of. Um, so we finished eating. I wanted to eat while it was hot, and now we are going back out just for it's literally um not far from me at all um it is in the next city but i actually live like right next to the highway so i'm just gonna pop in there and then come back and i think we're just gonna have a relaxing saturday night it's really really rainy out um so no exciting plans but i'll tag you guys along for the ride <laughs> showcase like this gorgeous yellow dress for easter um she has this really cute brown overalls i will say i definitely had some misses that did not fit me i didn't even feel comfortable showing on camera because one like completely showed my bra and things like that um so you know it's gonna happen it's totally fine but there was definitely some pieces that looked great on me that i'm happy to bring home the yellow dress i didn't even try on because the bus seemed kind of small and i was like i don't really want to waste my time and it was on the more expensive side. So I was scared if I did love it, it was going to be a lot of money. Like, I get it's a boutique. I totally get that. And the green tank dress that I paid $48 for, that was already me, like, pushing my limit. This dress was 60 something 
and I have plenty of cute dresses in my closet. I did get a really cute maxi skirt, which I don't have many of those, so I'm excited about that. Um, a cute little tank top for the summer. Really, really nice elevated sweatpants that I'm gonna show you guys. And another cute crop top, which I think was gonna be really cute for Easter dinner. Um, I'll show you guys everything when I get home. But we are heading home. It is like 10 minutes to five o'clock. And um, yeah, I think the rest of the night is gonna be monk and relaxation at home because it is definitely one of those days the way the rain is you guys can literally see at joe's windows it is oh yeah i'm sure you can hear it too it is insane